Sweating is an essential part of maintaining a healthy body temperature. Typical perspiration areas include the forehead, palms, soles, and armpits. Sweating is required for proper bodily function, but if you sweat excessively in any setting, it could be a sign of hyperhidrosis. Excessive sweating is the hallmark symptom of hyperhidrosis, a disorder characterized by overactive sweat glands. Hyperhidrosis isn't caused by environmental factors like heat or physical activity. Your hands and clothes may be drenched in sweat. Sweating excessively can be a nuisance and a source of anxiety and embarrassment in social situations. Hereditary your problem could have a genetic basis. In patients with primary hyperhidrosis, the overactivity of the acrine sweat glands is brought on by misfiring nerve signals. There are multiple potential causes, but it most often manifests in early childhood and persists throughout a person's life. Palms, soles, underarms, and occasionally the face are the most common sites of occurrence. Some 30% 50% of people with hyperhidrosis report a personal or family history of the condition. Medication. The medication you're taking may also be causing your excessive sweating. Some OTC and prescribed drugs can cause you to sweat excessively, but this is relatively uncommon. Excessive sweating is most commonly brought on by antidepressants like protriptyline, Tisipramine, norpamine, or pamidler. However, zinc, a mineral supplement, can also bring about this side effect. Pregnancy. Increased perspiration during pregnancy likely accounts for the radiance of pregnant women. Women have to deal with excessive sweating during pregnancy because of the many changes in their blood and hormonal flow and increased metabolism. Thyroid issues. The condition known as hyperthyroidism has been linked to an increased metabolic rate. Excessive thyroid activity. Several of the body's metabolic hormones are produced by the thyroid gland. An overactive thyroid can lead to a rise in body temperature, rapid weight loss, agitation, and a lump in the throat. Hyperthyroidism is a severe condition that needs to be treated right away. Diabetes. Sweating is a common symptom for people with diabetes because the nervous system sends a signal to the sweat glands when blood sugar levels drop, alerting the person to the fact that they need to eat something quickly to restore normal glucose levels. People with diabetes may also experience night sweats due to their blood sugar levels dropping while they sleep. Anxiety. When you're anxious, your body releases stress hormones, which can manifest as excessive sweating. The body's first defense against them is sweat, so it's not surprising that anxious people sweat more and that this sweating lasts for as long as the anxiety does. Perimenopause As a woman approaches menopause, she enters a transitional period known as perimenopause. Changes in estrogen levels directly influence the body's temperature, and an increase in body temperature can lead to excessive sweating, a common symptom of premenopause. Hyperhidrosis complications consist of Infections Constant perspiration increases the risk of developing skin infections. Social and emotional effect It is unflattering to be sweaty, and to have your hands clammy or dripping. If you're sick, advancing your career or finishing your degree could be challenging. Is it time to see a doctor? Excessive sweating may be a symptom of a more severe health issue. If you experience heavy sweating along with dizziness, chest, throat, jaw, arm, shoulder, or throat pain, or if your skin suddenly becomes cold, and your heart rate increases rapidly, you should seek immediate medical attention. 
Get checked out by a doctor if daily activities are thrown off when you sweat. Sweating leads to anxiety and isolation. You start sweating more than usual. Without explanation, you find yourself drenched in sweat during the night. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thank you.